The next structure is a sphere. So how do you put it across on a sheet of paper? Just draw a circle, pick a center and dashed line and this is of R unit. That would be your radius. The curved surface area, the total surface area of a sphere is given by 4 times the area of the circle. That's how you guys can remember. That is nothing but 4. What is the area of a sphere? Sorry, not area of a sphere. Area of a circle. 4 pi r square. So any given sphere, theoretically we can cover it up with the help of 4 circles. That's how you can remember it. If I happen to take 4 circles, if I cut 4 circles, I can cover this sphere with the help of this 4 circles. Again, it's just theoretical, it's not practical. So this is how you can remember. So we can make a mental note that we can cover a sphere with 4 circles. It's only to remember. This is not practical. Okay, so this is how you can remember the curved surface area or the total surface area. Why am I talking about total surface area and the curved surface area to be same? Because there is no flat part. So the curved surface area area or the total surface area of a sphere is one and the same. Is it not? There's no flat part. So this two are one and the same. And so we can remember the formula to be the same. Next is the volume. Volume of a sphere also has this 4 pi into r factor also. I mean, all of this looks the same. Additionally, we have divided by 3 and cube. So volume is always cube, is it not? So basically your formula is 4 by 3 pi r cube. So this is your formula. Okay, the cube part is remember is because of volume is of 3 dimension. It has to be cube. The powers need to add up to 3. Right? So let's recall total surface area is 4 times the area of a circle. So since this is a square, this is of the powers add up to 2. And so this is of 2 dimension. Next is the volume which is 4 by 3 pi r cube. This is 3, right? The power is 3. How you ignore the you ignore the constant? Look at the power of the variable. So it's 3. So this is obviously the powers add up to 3. We know that volume is 3 dimension. So this would should be 3. As simple as that. So this is 4 by 3 pi r cube. Okay, it makes sense. Now we'll begin with hemisphere. Hemi sphere is nothing but half of a sphere of of a sphere. How does it look? So if I take this sphere, cut it, right? You will get the hemisphere, half of it. Right? It, does it make sense? So can you guess the volume of this? I'll directly go with the volume. It would be half of the entire sphere. So entire sphere is 4 by 3 pi r cube. So basically this would be equal to 2 by 3 pi r cube. So you need not by heart this. Volume is basically half. Right? It makes sense. So how do you draw this? Quite simple. You draw a circle not exactly but yeah in this from this view yeah this way and indicate that it has a radius of r unit again there's only one factor over here only one variable that is r okay now let's look into the curved surface area obviously the curved surface area 2 is half of the sphere right the entire sphere would be something like that which we have seen before but we are cutting half of it. So obviously the curved surface area will be half of 4 pi r square. So basically we just need two circles to cover the curved surface area of a hemisphere. 
So 2 pi r square. That is 2 times the area of a circle. Okay. So this is your curved surface area. Next, total surface area. Why are we talking about total surface area over here? Because it has a flat surface. Right? This is your flat surface. Can you see that? It's very clear. It has a flat surface. So we need to talk about the total surface area. It is nothing but curved surface area of the hemisphere plus the top or the base, whatever you guys want to call it as. So what is the structure of this top or the base? Well, it is nothing but a circle. Is it not? So we have 2 pi r square plus pi r square because even that too has the same radius. So pi r square. In the fit, it's 3 pi r square. If you want to uh, add it up, 2 plus 1 is 3, 3 pi r square. But yes, again, as usual, I would prefer you guys understanding this part. Don't by heart the last part. So I'll just erase this. Yes, that answer is correct. But I, I don't want you guys to remember it this way. So I'll just put a scratch. You, you guys can do the same. Remember it this way, not as 3 pi r square. Okay, again, conceptually you need to be aware because you're going to use it in quite a few places in a different, different way. So you need to be aware of it. Okay, so here too, dimensionally, it's the same. It's the extension of your sphere. So I'm not going to do that. So please understand over here, we are making use of the same formula that is area of the circle again and again in various places. So remembering area of the circle, circumference of the circle will help you guys a lot in most of the numericals in most of the formulas. Okay. Okay. So please pause, write everything that you see on the screen. Please enroll to our program at chalkpiececademy.com wherein we'll be teaching you a lot more tricks for faster simplification and calculation, uh, DIY projects, we'll code with Python, we'll work with Arduino Uno, there are a lot more magic tricks and the physics behind it. There are printable materials which will help you recap and understand things better. We'll have live revision and doubt session two months before your term exams. It's very cost effective. There would be no ads or any kind of distractions and we have a dedicated app to help you guys with this.